welcome back to my channel today's video is all about how to start acting with little to no experience i was in that boat still am in that boat but it is a tough business to get into and especially when you're just starting out if you don't know what to do it can be kind of confusing so today i'm going to walk through everything that i have learned on my process and how to get started what i've done what has helped me and I'm going to show you everything that you need to get started acting. So my experience started back in high school. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I really liked being creative and everyone was always saying I'm so dramatic and <laughs> I'm very dramatic. And so I was like, I love being dramatic and out there and so I'm gonna start acting. I started by getting into my school's theater program because they had a drama club after school and that's like the best place to get started. If you're in high school, join your, well, I don't exactly know how it works in quarantine days, but back in normal times, <laughs> The theater program at your school is the best way to get started. I did two plays when I was in high school and then I graduated and I needed something else to do. So then I went on to college and after I graduated high school I still wanted to continue acting. I actually wanted to go to college for theater but I didn't. So I did something else instead. I took a theater class in college. Definitely taught me a lot. It was more for theater purposes and not so much like film and all of that. You still use the same skills, the same acting. I mean, theater acting and film acting, completely different because with theater acting, you have to accentuate everything that you do. Your voice has to be projected louder so that the entire audience can hear you. And your facial expressions have to be a lot more dramatic so that everyone knows what you're doing. Whereas in film, it's the camera is right here and it's a lot more realistic if you ask me. But the two are totally different. Yet again, you still learn the same things and you still use the same skills. So then, after I graduated college, I moved to California. I didn't move out here to start acting by any means. However, I did want to do it on the side, at least give it a shot. So I did. I think it was in 2018, I was in my first student film and I went there shot the entire movie, gave this girl some amazing ideas, and we shot them, and it turned out great. However, she never completed it, so therefore we never got to see it. And I was the lead, and I was so excited. We never got to see it, so it's fine. So a few years later, it's 2020. Here we are in the middle of a pandemic, and I wanna start acting. Okay. If you look back at other videos that I have filmed, you would know that I filmed a movie, like a big movie, and I also filmed for an HBO Max pilot. Neither of them have come out yet, but they're both in post-production and they're being worked on and they're going to be released this year, so I'm super excited about that. I'll put my IMDb linked down below so that you can check out everything that I'm currently working on that is in the works that has been done, all of that. So you might ask yourself, Paige, how do I go about getting in a big movie or on a pilot for a TV show? Hmm. Well, the first thing you wanna do is get headshots. These are some of my headshots that were previously taken because I then cut my hair off, which if you pay $300, to get headshots, which you're going to most likely, if you want them to be this good, they are going to be expensive. The one thing that you don't wanna do is go and pay $300 and get headshots that are absolutely amazing and get you all sorts of work and then drastically change your appearance, because that's what I did. I drastically cut my hair off and therefore my beautiful headshots that were taken with my beautifully gorgeous long hair were no longer usable. So then I again didn't have another $300 to just put out for some more headshots, so I had to take my own, which this is what I have. 
No, it is not the greatest, but it was taken in my home with my ring light on my camera. It's fine. I still get auditions and stuff, so it's not a big deal. It still works. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make yourself a reel. If you don't have experience, odds are you're not gonna have any footage to use in your reel. I didn't because the one thing that I could have put in my reel <clears throat> never got completed. So I had to make my own reel. If you have friends that are good at filming and they're in you know, the filming industry and they like filming movies and making plots or whatever, then by all means, make your own little monologue with your friends, like a little scene, film that, and then put that in your reel. Because odds are that's gonna be a lot better. But it's fine to get you started. You just can do what I did. I looked online for a variety of monologues. Choose one funny, one dramatic, that's what I did. You don't want it to be too long because no casting director is gonna sit there and watch, you know, five minutes of a reel of you just acting because they have a lot of stuff to look at. So look online for some monologues. Um, one funny, one dramatic, fitting a character that you would be well suited for. Myself, I um, am someone that would be cast as the girl next door the mean girl yeah i've gotten both of those so that's really what i'm hmm, cast as just look online for monologues like comedy monologues for women or for men or dramatic monologues or something i don't know just it, it's a very easy google search you just wanna find something that you can resonate with, something that fits you, something that you think you'll do well. So the next step is going to be setting up online profiles. So a few of the online networks that I personally am subscribed to are Backstage, Actors Access, and LA Casting. Backstage is $20 a month, LA Casting is an, again, another $20 a month, and Actors Access, I paid for the yearly subscription and it cost me about $70. Okay, so this is the Actors Access homepage that you will see as soon as you sign into your account. Up here we have everything that you're going to need. We have the breakdown section, then we have the tool section where you'll find all of your account information, you can manage your profile, you can set up your profile if you have representation, like if you have um, a manager or an agent, your email, all of that. Any submissions that you've submitted for, any audition requests you have, and you can get sides. Sides are what the casting director will send along with the audition request. Another thing I highly recommend is maybe giving yourself a business email. I have one just so every acting opportunity and any acting email that I would get that's for business purposes would go to that email and not get cluttered in with all of my other stuff so I never miss an opportunity or miss when I have you know a casting director wanting me to audition. Another thing I highly recommend is setting up a website. I didn't actually know that this was a thing until I googled it and I was watching other YouTube videos and this is something that has been a saving grace for me personally. I personally talked to someone who um, works at an agency and they said that having your own website with all of your information collected in it is absolutely amazing and it's such a time saver for them. So when you're emailing and you're sending out your audition or you're sending out, you know, submitting for breakdowns, all you have to do is post your little website link and it takes them to everything that they need to know about you. Okay, so you submitted for some breakdowns. Now, what happened? You got an audition? What? Let's go and I'm going to show you how I set up and film all of my self-tape auditions. This is what you want, not this sound. This sound is not what you want. This is really good lighting. I should film over here. Except the sound sucks, so we're not gonna do that. So, this is what you want. A plain white wall. So this would be my little filming spot. Normally I film on the other side in my dining room, however I don't feel like moving all that stuff. So I just set up my ring light right here for now. My plain white wall. And then I put my camera 
right here. I will link this ring light down below because it's absolutely amazing and it wasn't actually that expensive. And it has like this little, this little knob right here so that you can dim it, brighten it. I put my camera here and then this is what you see. And then I act out my little stuff, read my script, blah, 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 blah. If you have bad quality lighting, no one's gonna wanna watch it. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like between my ring light and my regular lights. This is regular overhead lighting. This is the kind of lighting that you don't want when you film a self-tape audition because you look awful. No one wants to see a video filmed in this lighting because it's awful. As another example, actually, this is me in my bedroom. This lighting isn't awful. This is natural lighting with my, my window in my bedroom without the ring light. There are options, you just have to find them. Okay, so the next step after you submit your self-tape is going to be waiting again. First, you're gonna be waiting for that audition. Next, you're gonna be waiting to see if you, if you get cast. A few tips that I would recommend just to help you out if I haven't given you enough already. First one is to submit for breakdowns every single day. There are always new breakdowns being posted every single day. My favorite website to check, the one that I check every single morning when I wake up, is Actors Access. That's all the information that I really have. I think I covered everything pretty well, but if you have any questions or anything, just comment down below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. If you have any other acting questions, any other acting related videos that you wanna see on my channel, anything else you want me to cover in another video, comment down below, let me know. I am more than happy to make another video on I don't know, making a resume or filming a self-tape audition or how to build your website or literally anything. So if you wanna see other acting videos, just let me know. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Friday and I will see you in my next video.